Let's have a party. Let's have a party. Attention, Toby Keith fans. Get out those red solo cups and proceed to party. Your fearless leader is coming to a city near you. Toby Keith Live and Overdrive kicks off June 14th in Salt Lake City for a four-month, 40-city run throughout the U.S. and Canada. In the meantime, be sure to catch Toby's performance at this year's ACM Awards, where he's nominated for three trophies, including single and music video of the year for Red Solo Cup. Visit headlinecountry.net for a complete list of dates and information on how you can join the party. Well, hunting down Toby Keith's label partner, JT Hodges, has just gotten a whole lot easier now that the singer is talking. Twice a month, you can catch JT on his new web series, Just Talking, for an online chat and live performances of his current songs as well as some fan-voted cover tunes. I figured this is the least I can do. Let's do something where we actually broadcast something on Ustream, Ustream and online, and I'll play you know, four or five songs. There's a segment where I'm just setting the guitar down and they're asking questions, I'm asking them questions. We're all just, we're just talking. And as it turns out, the newcomer has plenty to talk about these days, as we discovered on the set of his latest music video, Goodbyes Made You Mine. Tune in April 12th for even more of our chat with JT and find out what he really thinks of goodbyes. Back down under in Australia, Keith Urban received some love from his homeland, being named International Artist of the Year by the annual CMC Awards, which took place during our sister network's Rock the Hunter Festival. Keith was busy taping the Australian version of The Voice in Sydney and was unable to attend the awards. Australian Artist of the Year went to fast rising star Jasmine Ray. It just feels amazing, so much support, and you guys are amazing, and yeah, it's just, it's so it's awesome. The awards were hosted by Aussie turned American country duo O'Shea. The thing about this award show has got a really big heart and I think that's showing through. Three-time Grammy winner Trisha Yearwood may be best known for her powerful voice on the stage, but now she's showing America that she has just as much talent in the kitchen with her very own TV show to prove it. Yearwood will be serving her first episode of Cooking Tips and Family Traditions on Trisha's Southern Kitchen beginning April 14th on the Food Network. We got an early taste of what Miss Yearwood could dish up on GAC back in 2008 when she shared recipes from Georgia cooking in an Oklahoma kitchen. One of two cookbooks, Trisha has landed at number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Woo!